Books are the memory which does not die, inscribed in five languages over the gate of Hush House. Go quietly. Book of Hours is a forgiving sort of game. If you're worried you might be stuck, too bad. Read faster, apparently. Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome to Book of Hours, the second game by Weather Factory, and one set in the same universe as Cultist Simulator. Loved that game, although it was a touch esoteric, shall we say, in its UI designs, so I am tentatively worried, but also excited and intrigued by this game. It's apparently set in a library, which also is something I don't see enough of. I don't see enough library representation in video games, which is a shame. Brankrug, March 7th, 1936. There's been no librarian at Hush House since the fire. Seven years now. Suitable candidates are very difficult to find, but perhaps we have found one. May I please read? Please, may I read the things that are on my screen? Poor favor. I can't imagine it was too important, but... Just as a precaution. Oh, hello. Pardon? Oh, that just opened up a, uh... A folder on my desktop. With a bunch of dates and titles? Hello? What's this read me about? What have you put on my screen? Further reading excerpts from the Wakefield Papers. These excerpts from the Wakefield Papers provide context and background about Hush House and its visitors. Everything is compiled in plain fonts in a PDF. All papers date from before your arrival at Hush House and contain foreshadowing rather than spoilers. Read them before, after, or during the game, according to your preference. Huh. Intriguing. There are a bunch of... Well, let's open one of these up. Oh my! It's like a... An aged letter. Fascinating. All dated between 1722 and 1932. Curious. Well, I will look into that later. I'm I'm wondering if this is part of the Perpetual Edition I bought a fairly long time ago. I'm a bit late to this party. Apologies. But... Huh. What can I say? I got distracted. And also, I'm finding the UI a little bit troublesome. Okay, that should be paused. Suitable candidates are very difficult to find, but perhaps we have found one in you. Take care on your journey. This is around Brankragar. Treacherous. Okay, apparently that's not pause. Curious. But okay. How? What? The cold comes first. Thunder growling. Waves pounding. And finally me, sprawled on the sodden sand of the beach. There's something in my hand. Okay. I do not understand, but much like with Cultist Simulator, I am willing to learn. Health, half-drowned, memory storm. A drowned book. The one possession I kept from the shipwreck. I must be important to me. The aspects below tell you more about how and where you can use this item. Mouse over them to learn more. Thing. The gentleman makes things his servant. The petty man is servant to things. Master Jun. Readable. There are worse things to put your in your eyes than this. Uh, Wonderful. Journal. I began before this book, but it'll end when I do. Soaked. In peril of dissolution. Intervene quickly, but not hastily. Forms, expertise, element of the soul and malady. What? Oh my, 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 my. We remember you, or something like you. You we know. Okay. Curious, curious, curious. I mean, do I? Ah, I see. I see and understand not in the slightest. What do I have left to work with? I mean, I have a book, apparently. Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. Storm didn't take everything. There was a storm. It smashed the ship like an egg, but I seized this book as the sea seized me. Then the sea brought me here to Bankrug. 
curious. I'm also curious about this... Pardon us. St. Brandon's Cove. Here the sea ends and the world begins, or the other way around. After storms, the fishermen of Brancrug find oddities washed up here. Out of bounds. This place lies beyond the bounds of the house. Curious. Then the sea brought me here to Brancrug, and Brancrug is where I wanted to be, but it's hard to remember why. What else did I lose in the storm? Memory chore? Chore is exuberance, instinct, rhythm. Do those mean something to me? Fet? Fet is that part of us which dreams. Are dreams important to me? Shapt? Shapt is eloquence and also understanding. The door opens both ways. Is my soul open to knowledge? Um. Curious. I'm soaked, I'm freezing, but as far as I can tell, I'm still alive. You still have some health. Don't lose it. You need it. If you want to be alive. What else do you have? Your single remaining possession is in the belonging slot at the top. Remember, what is Shapt? What is that, I wonder? Something remembered might be something understood. Memories can be used to help with crafting and to upgrade skills. Memories disappear each dawn, except persistent ones. Pardon? I can't get my thoughts in straight, but there's something in my hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I meant pause as in keep them... Bother. Okay. Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. Um, What remains of me? Words? I see. Okay. Expertise. Element of the soul. The human soul is composed of, composed of nine elements. Remember what you were with the help of your journal. Eloquence and understanding rise from that part of the soul we call Shapt. Is my shaft strong? Oh, the other two possibilities will be lost to the sea for now. Um, exuberance, instinct, rhythm. The part of us which dreams. And eloquence and also understanding. Hmm. It's either going to be fet or shaft. I guess I'm going to go with shaft. Because it is useful to be eloquent. Often. It helps to be able to communicate ideas properly. Hello. This is the coast where Brancrug Isle lies. My sources brief me thoroughly about the place, and I know there's no way that I can cross the isle to the isle in these seas. I need to find shelter for the night. Fair enough. Shapt. Possibly metal. Faust. Arab. Whist. Whist is the name, the memory, the part which remains. Is it important to me that things endure? Yes. False is sight, perception, inspiration, all the glory's gifts. Is my soul a bright soul? Arab is pride, compassion, hatred, and fear. Do those passions burn within me? Yes. That was the capacity for meaning, meaningful, yeah, meaningful choice. Curious. So do I pick one of these? I mean, of these... We remember you distinctly. For those of you who have seen my uh, Cult of Simulator playthrough, we remember the light, although we don't remember its proper name. Faust is light within sight, perception, and inspiration. Choose a strong Faust and a past with a pursuer who can see the light within you. The waves will wash away the others for now. What about Whist? Whist is the soul's memory, the true name scratched on its cornerstone, or remains after the rest has passed. In a past where you saw voices that had fallen silent. I see, so this changes my past. In a past where your passions were paramount, or... A past where you made mistakes. I mean... Hmm... And a past with a pursuer who can see the light within you. I think Whist might be the one I go with. Where well, you saw voices that had fallen silent. But I don't understand entirely the decisions the decisions I am making. Oh, hello. 
There are still things I don't remember, but I do remember there's someone in the village who can... Who will give me sanctuary if I can get there. Mysteries have been added to your journal. You can investigate... You can... Yeah, you can begin to investigate them when you and your journal are both dry. An old friend's address. Mr. Kille... Kyle? Is the coffin maker of Brankrug Village. I once wrote kindly of his poetry. His home is always open to me, though he's never... Though he's asked me to never mention poetry in front of Mrs. Kyle Kille. I can find shelter for tonight under the roof once I've reached Brankrug Village. Brankrug Village. What are you, though? Shelter. Brankrug Village must be nearby, but it's hard going, dragging my soaked body across the soaked sand in the teeth of this wind. Which way? A fair question? I don't know. Interesting UI we have this time, though. Brankoke Village must be nearby. I'm going to mispronounce that name a lot. But it's hard going. Dragon, etc. Which way? Memory, fear. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. I suppose. Clicking a slot. Oh. We'll highlight which objects can go into it. Very good. A cry for help. Perhaps there's someone out there even in this weather. I can fill my lungs and bellow for help. That would also mean I don't need to crawl any further. Ah, the principle called knock permits no seal and no isolation. It thrusts us gleefully out of the safety of ignorance. And the forge. Ah, yes. So then I wonder. Edge. I'm remembering the names. Lantern was his name. Ah. Uh, we remember you. At last, I see the light of a hurricane lamp bobbing in the dark. As it approaches, a face glimmers above the lamp. Fisherman's assistant. A fisherman from Brankug Village. Brankrug Village. He can guide me up the cliff path, if he trusts me. The aspects below tell me more about how and where you can use this card. Hmm. Hello, this lib the libri the librarian. Librarian. There we go. Lives alone, but there's no shame in seeking assistance from others. Assistance can open new rooms or help with your studies. It disappears when used or at dawn. Curious. Okay. Alang. Hmm. Alang suspicion. Come no closer. What's thy business? Uh, an old friend's address? Be someone that'll speak for ye? For ye? For ye? Hmm. Of course, since 1930 and the restoration. Pardon? Restoration? The restoration. Capitalized. The locals have grown ever more suspicious of foreigners, but there's someone in Brankrug I know. Restoration of what? What in 1930? Curious. And then I'm also curious about this. Moon. Secrets are soft. Night is softer still. The sea speaks. It is not always wise to listen. The nocturnal, the forgotten. And then sky. Wind, storm, echo, song. The intricacies of mathematics and the principles of light. Law's touch is lighter than we sometimes think. Matters of balance, harmony, and necessity. And then good old winter. Winter is the principle of silence, of endings, and of those things that are not quite dead. Which I'm hoping perhaps applies to me? Apparently this fellow is also skeptical. Which, fair. But trust can be bought or earned. And I have a name, so tell me. Am I not a trustworthy soul? I just washed in over the, you know, sea. All good things come from the sea, right? I'll take ye by the cliffs then. This gentleman is no longer skeptical. Use him to unlock Brankrug Village. Appreciate it. Oh, what did I just do? Brankrug Village, Sanctuary in the Storm. I'll need help to climb the cliffs, uh, cliffs in the dark. And the locals are suspicious of outsiders. More than ever so since the Restoration and the New King. Curious, that? Ah, I must have... Perhaps not intentionally. And let me collect my old friend's address. Put his card on this little lock, which is what unlocked this. Uh oh! I found my way through the storm to Brankrug Village. 
Delightful. Post office. The postmistress may have something for me once I know what to ask for. Neat. The rectory. Reverend Timothy is a hospitable soul, but Terence, his housekeeper... Pause for me, thank you. But Terence, his housekeeper, guards her employer fiercely. She doesn't want his innocent theological enthusiasms getting him in trouble with the new king's men. Curious. You need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance marked with lantern, knock, or sky. Perhaps someone who shares his interest in theology or poetry. A workstation hints. Aspects most likely to be useful here. Okay, so these are considered workstations of sorts. Huh. I'm sorry, I already looked at the post office. The Sweet Bones! After the restoration of 1930, the new king's agents came looking for his enemies in these parts, and they weren't gentle about it. Since those days, the locals are suspicious of foreigners. No one in the Sweet Bones will talk to me. Mr. Mrs. and Mr. Killy, who is the one I'm looking for here. Miss Killy, the, mid the midwife, is tall and gloomy. Mr. Killy is... the undertaker, is slight and wiry. In these troubled times, both are wary of strangers. Mr. Hmm. Curious. Mr. Killy struggles with the door. The wind almost snatches it from his hands. The storm wind plucks at you both. Shelter. Uh... Eh? What do I have that will fit? Ah, health. Speaking of which, I only had two minutes, apparently. Mr. Killy struggles with the door. The wind almost snatches it from his hands. His eyes widen as he sees me. Hello. So we have electricity. Oh, and this tells me where we are. This quiet Cornish fishing village has lain long in the Isle's shadow. It might be as old as Hush House itself. And like Hush House, Brankrug Village has provided sanctuary over the years for its share of misfits and exiles. Okay, so we're somewhere in England, unless I'm much mistaken. I don't know exactly where Cornish would be. Cornwall, I assume? But assumptions and all that. Regardless, Mr. Killay constructed the bread the bet. He constructed the bread himself. You know, that's definitely the wording I wanted to use. No, no, no. He constructed the bed himself. I rather fear with the same tools he uses to shape coffins. It's not a comfortable bed, but it's dry, clean, and warm. Well, I mean, why would there be a difference in the tools you use for carpentry and bed making? Admittedly, I'm not much of a woodworker, but I don't really see why there would be much change either way. Ah, the grail. Hunger, lust, and the drowning waters. The principle of the grail honors both the birth and the feast. And then heart. Um, pardon? Spring, the world warms, dawn. At this time, the sisters of the Abbey would raise their voices and praise the Madrigad for the office of Aurora. Uh, hmm, curious. I sit up talking with Mr. and Mrs. K as the wind rattles the shutters and the fire shrugs its way emberward. I'm very hungry and Mrs. K's gallets... Gallets? Not familiar with the term. Are impossibly good. Mr. K pretends to grumble about foreign cooking. No one is convinced. Hmm. Curious. Um, can we be wistful? Mr. Killy always enjoys a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Killy will offer help as a friend. And this is under the power of Lantern. Um, on the topic of this journal. Ah, thank you, very helpful. Mr. Killay, gloomy as always, kind as ever, lights the kitchen fire and helps me dry the book. Well, Mr. I'm sorry, that was Mrs. Killay. Mr. Killay saws away in the next room. Birth always leaves marks, she opines, as she carefully tucks fragments of muslin between the damp pages. Birth? Pardon? There's our wist fatigued. A scarred book. Goatskin? Antelope? Some scarred leather that catches at my memory. I should know. Hmm. Oh, I can't talk to the book. Yeah, that's fair. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. Bacon. Francis Bacon, if I recall correctly? 
Studying requires effort, so you always need a suitable soul card first. I don't believe I have one, then. Because I am thoroughly fatigued. Alas. Um, can I perhaps put this here? No. A memory of satisfaction. Some appetites are easier to satisfy than others. So, tell me, how might I use you? Something remembered might be something understood. Memories, bleh, da, da, memories can be used to help with crafting and upgrade skills. Hmm. How might you be used, I wonder? No. No. Hmm. Curious, curious, curious. I don't see how I can use you. The rectory is locked. We have a sea of hostile forces, or faces. And we have the grail. Hmm. What about you? A miscloaked bridge. Every so often, someone builds a bridge to the isle. Each bridge lasts 100 years or 200. Then the sea disposes of it. This was built in the 1890s. That makes it the newest bridge. But that doesn't mean it's new. Oh, I would have to repair it. I see? I don't see. I don't know what I'm doing. Is there a way to... Oh. Okay. Um, this is as zoomed out as I can get it. Yes? Okay, good. St. Brandon's Cove. What are you? A walk on the moor, which will require effort and knowledge, which I don't have. Hmm. I would like to talk, but I don't know what to talk about. How do I unfatigue my wist? And it recovers it will have this much of winter again. Hmm. I'm sorry. Most librarians know that books have souls. Most librarians hope for books with simple souls of wist and nothing else. Um. Hello. Oh. Regarding the book, perhaps? Something for me? The postmistress regards me with the chilly gaze of a goddess image in an ancient hill shrine. The librarian says she, yes, I have something for you. Wait here, please. Okay, and I think this is the only other place I haven't gone to. The smithy! Denzel Smith has more work than he needs, and he rarely opens his door to strangers. Need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance with Edge, Forge, or Heart. Someone in a similar trade, or someone who can appeal to his secret passion for saffron cake. Hmm. Curious thing. The poachers... The poachers. The postmistress returns with an envelope addressed to... The Librarian, Hush House, Brancrug Isle. A post marked in Wales a week ago. A ten shilling note. Half a pound, but not half a note. A recent innovation. The letter to the uh, Librarian. A letter to me from St. Ronwyn's Trust. The Trust's connection with Hush House is probably benevolent, but persistently obscure. Hooray for my ten shillings. A sea of hostile faces, and a wary welcome at the inn. In the time of the Heptarchy, a ring giver was accounted generous. In this bright and civilized century, a beer buyer enjoys the same regard. The Heptarchy? Hmm, nope. Oh, I can consider things. One does forget. A message for me. Read the letter to reply instead. Add ink at a desk. Eh, well, we're going to get through one of these first. A wary welcome at the inn. I bought a round for everyone and another and one for luck. And thus was I counted not so bad for a foreigner. I'll find a warmer welcome here next time. Oh, dear. Well, yes. A memory solace. Delightful. The Sweet Bones has been a public house in Brancrug since Cromwell's time. Its history is notable, its beer is not. Guests looking for discreet employment or for discreet assistance congregate in the snug. What does that mean? Damn you, Britain! I do not understand you, nor your currency. The silver coin of least value, but silver nonetheless. Twelve pence or one twentieth of a pound... 
My god, why? Two and a half shillings, obviously. Five shillings, one quarter of a pound. Your culture is monstrous. It is evil. Vile. What monster allows this? This is even worse than the American imperial system. Good god. Anyway. I finished reading. St. Ronwin's Trust wishes to... To do what? To do what? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> oh, there we are. The letter reads, St. Ronwin's Trust wishes to congratulate me on my appointment as Librarian of Hush House. The trust assures me that it will provide the promised stipend each spring, but reminds me that its resources are limited and suggests I seek local assistance in restoring the premises. Let us know when you are all set up and ready to receive visitors. The letter concludes, it's signed simply, The Trustees. Me and mine? A pence, soiled, something that is cleaning, and soaked. An element of the soul? No malady. I don't understand. If an object matches any of these, it can't go in the slot. Ah, and this is required. So do I have anything that could go in here? Tuppence will buy me a hearty meal and a quiet place where I can rest and gather my thoughts. Yeah... Okay. It's spring and the landlady has served me a slice of her stargazy pie. Again, don't know what that is, but okay. With the pilchard heads poking cheekily through the hot crust. I assume it's some sort of fish pie then? I guess? I don't know what a pilchard is. Ah, uh, alas for my ignorance of the vile British. Who allow this, this nonsense. Ugh. All right, so how do I repair you? Hush House has been empty for seven years. Those seven years have rendered the bridge perilous. I need some assistance, okay. But I also need Forge, Lantern, and Sky. Well, I have Sky here. Can I speak with one of you, perhaps, and request assistance? This requires an element of the soul. Hmm. Curious. You used to have Grail and Winter. But can I have Malady or Fatigued? Ah, I see. So I go here to recover myself. I understand, sort of, to a degree. Better now. Again. The monstrous British currency system. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I'm going to hate that, but it's fine. It is, in fact, okay. Uh, sorry, I need to organize this for my own brain. My brain does not allow for this nonsense. This monstrous heathenry. Ugh. All right, recover our shaft, I suppose. How much for a penny? Tuppence will buy me a hearty meal and a quiet place where I can rest my thoughts. But apparently just one pence will do? I... Oh. Oh. Okay. I can, in fact, have multiple things added to that. What? What are you? I can reply to this from a writing desk. Readable. There are worse things to put in your eyes. Again, you say such worrying things. Such terribly worrying things. Uh, you know, I could probably ask you. No. Hmm. Visitors, strangers, and friends. Remind me, considering this just shows me that it exists. I have memories. Hmm. Well, I mean, at least I will be fully recovered, but I'm just confused, is all. As to how this is all structured. 
Yeah, for you I need an introduction. That's fine. For you I need an offering, evidently. What'll a shilling get me? Ah. No. <laughs> I don't want to break down any of this. Thank you very much. So that's locked as well. Uh, St. Brandon's Cove, there's nothing there. A walk on the moor requires effort and knowledge, so... Clamber up the long... Oh, I have no knowledge. Fair enough. Clamber up into the long reaches of the moor behind the village, lean into the wind's fluttering fist. If I, find, if I know what to look for, I might find something among the rocks. But now I am recovered... Delightful. So my question then becomes... There's not much work on offering Brand Krug, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. Or add a coin to find visitors seeking employment. Curious, that. I could offer help with correspondence and arithmetic. There's no school in Brand Krug, and not everyone here knows their letters. Or add a coin to find visitors seeking employment. Seek unusual help. What visitors might be passing through? Find out what unusual passing right by might be looking for employment. Okay, so I hire people from the pub or spend time there to get money. I see. Not entirely, but I do sort of see what I'm doing. Okay, I do have to be careful about pausing too because time's passing. Like right now it's night. So I wonder if there's going to be different results at different times? I'm curious about all this. But I see and slightly understand the mechanics here. Um, I don't know if I want to break these down. I don't know why I would want to. I can see why I would want to consolidate, but I don't see why I would want to break down. Also, my god, five shillings, one quarter of a pound. Who permits this? Memories fade. Assistance departs, but the soul is refreshed. Here's an opportunity. Passing by a poet. Thank you, I guess. The poet has come to the sweet bone seeking inspiration, which mostly seems to mean drinking, but also complaining. The elegaic poet provides winter, moth, and... I'm sorry, is it actually moth? Perfect. Moth and sky. Thank you for that. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I would like to recover that. Thank you. And then you. Oh, talk to him first. Fair enough. I should actually talk to him before I, you know, if I meet their price, I can hire them for a day. They want 24. A half crown. I'll hire this one for a day. The Elegate Poet. Why do I know that? name. Wonderful, you've been hired for the day. Help me with this. Every so often someone builds a bridge, and we have read this already, so do me a favor, friend, and unlock it for me. And then the entrance. A cottage where Hush House's groundskeeper lived until the fire. Oh my. I have quite the estate here. If I can get into this place and make it habitable, I can use it as a base for reclaiming more of the house. To do so, I need assistance. Ah, I have made a mistake. I could add more to this? Yeah, I'm already... Okay. This is fine. Also, this can go back here. Actually, can I store it up there? No. No, I cannot. But it is sunny. The sun is not what it was, but today he is smiling. I'm sorry, the sun is not what it was? Pardon? Alright, but I need someone with forge, heart, or knock. To forge, particularly. I see how you work, Book of Hours. And I am curious. Perhaps very curious. Uh, 
One shilling, 12 pence, will hire a casual laborer's services. There we are. In spring, the local miners often travel to the Feast of Lights below. If one breaks his journey at the Sweet Bones, a shilling will buy his labor for a day. Miners offer it and it and also a little hua, a little moon. So it's definitely forge and moon. Alternatively, add a soul card to find any rare guest who might be seeking employment. I mean, I do need forge. Forge would work. How much does a sixpence get me? Okay, I need 12 shilling at the very least. Gotcha. Okay. Can't say I fully understand, but here we are. Two of what? Scale. Hard without, hard within. Hard to rouse, harder to subdue. What is left of the crude powers of the deep earth? Curious, that. Miners' assistants, thus they more or less rule themselves with the help of their wild Celtic temperament made wilder by the hardness of their lives and the truly ghastly conditions under which they worked. With all this, it is not to be wondered that the Tinners acquired the reputation of being scarcely human, but it must be remembered that those among them at all times were those whose characters could stand in comparison with the best of men. L. Russell Muirhead. Muirhead? Pronunciation. We accept that I am not flawless at it. And you are not adequate. Bothersome. Can you perhaps unlock this? No? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I need to actually talk with you. I could encourage my assistant, work with them for a little while, exalt them, or I could just listen to whatever they might have to say. Add something to enhance your physician's assistant. Ah... Education or begotment boosts knock and forge. Interesting. So I can use these to increase their skills, to make them capable of doing harder and more difficult tasks. I see. Okay. I can't say I fully understand the mechanics, but I get what I'm doing here. This is simply a collaboration between us. And I wonder... Nectar, the green wealth in the world's veins, the pulse of the seasons. Long ago, some called this principle blood. Interesting. So there are old principles here. My assistant and I fall easily into conversation. Good for us. Although, remind me, how can I earn some extra money? Best to get money while we can. I don't know how I'm going to use memory, though. At least not fully. I can make use of these as a memory. Hmm. No. Well, I might just not have a use for that yet. Hmm. Curious, though. And you're going to be a full minute. So far, we've got very curious things going on here. And I can't say I fully understand what I'm doing. But, I'm intrigued. Oh, look at the little... It's like a uh, papercraft pail. Or, papercraft... Not pa play board. Yes, you see with the little strings. Like the background in a play. Curious, that. Hmm. As they used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I earned my pay. Ah! Interesting, I can just combine those manually. Good to know, but also, hello. The Keeper's Lodge, for... I can zoom in quite a bit. My, my. In the times we call baronial, curia, and nocturnal, there was always a keeper to watch the ways. Weed the gardens, mend the roof when the sun was shining. There is no keeper now, but the lodge's roof still weathers the storms of Brancrug Bay. The great gate of the house. The walls of the house tower before me. 
above me even. I had been told that it was abandoned after a fire, but there is no sign of any such thing. The building will no doubt need restoration, but it is in better shape than I'd feared. Books are the memory that does not die, reads the inscription above the gate. And I require a key, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, consider the journal. My journal? That battered leather cover is familiar, but the storm's so scattered my thoughts. Uh, does anyone have the... Moronio appeared. In the 16th century, the DeWolf family became the Baron's Brangrug, governing the Isle as their personal state until 1759 when their line ended in madness and death. Uh, now that I've restored this, how do I make use of you? Oh. <gasps> ah. And there we are. A potted dragon tree. A determined spiky little survivor. Straw cushion chair. There's like objects in here that I can interact with. Shadowless silk. A variant of the Persian silk tree. Golden as the shadowless kings. A honey scar scented candle. An uncatalogued book, a baronial. A fractured mirror, potted dragon tree. And then a fireplace. Fire always accepts gifts, and both the kettle f boils the kettle for tea. Uh, ah, I see. I am utterly fatigued. Hmm. If I cast an object into the fire, it will be transformed, destroyed, or lost. Use this to dispose of junk or of danger. Curious. Okay. So I can actually interact with all these objects, is what I'm seeing. Pardon? Oh my. Uh. CNH Second Flush Asim Packet. Tea from the land of the real unicorn. Imported by Cater and Harrow. Huh. Plates, cups, and glasses, so that if I want to offer someone wine, I need to give them the whole bottle. <laughs> fair, fair. But now I wonder, like, how does all of this work? An extra shaft card is helpful. My journal, I'm sure of it. This is paused, yes? The storm scattered my thoughts, but each page I turn is familiar. I begin to recall now why I came here, to understand my curse and redeem myself. More about your origin and your aspirations in your jur- I'm sorry. In your journal- Oh, bother. Books are the memory that does not die. Add aspects to match the book's mystery. You don't always need to fill every- Ah? Uh? No, this isn't exactly what I read there. Oh dear, we've been at this for 45 minutes and we've barely started. Or at least it feels that way. But regardless, I am the librarian of Hush House and this journal will record what arose from my crime and my curse. The archaeologists' dearest wish when they came to the house was to record a history where their crime could be forgiven or redefined. But you can complete the game by recording any history. You might wish to begin your studies with the Skolak Skolekosophy Wisdom. Skolekosophy? Skoleko... Skolekosophy? Curious. It's been a while since I had a game that actually stretched my vocabulary like this. I appreciate it. I truly do. Now, a question. A memory? Insufficient. Optionally use a skill. But this is optional. I require a suitable soul card. And so I take it I need winter, memories of the archaeologist. I opened a tomb and found too late that it was a prison. The plague that I released is now my shadow. Perhaps I am its reflection. It is too late to set matters right, but it is never too late to protect the future from the past. In Hush House, I can do no harm. Perhaps I can even make amends. Oh dear. A troublesome thing. The Watchman's Tower, the Gatehouse. Back in the 11th century, Brian of Brittany, which is a 
little area on the northwest of France, as I recall, built the tower and its gate to protect St. Brandon's Abbey, as Hush House was then known. Later, the Baron's DeWolf strengthened the gate against their many enemies, but it's a long time now since Hush House was in a kind of fortress, and by the time the scholars of the Curia took possession, this place had long been a comfortable waiting room for visitors to the house, too minor to merit immediate attention. I'm sorry, Treasury of Shelters. It's like an armory for not getting pneumonia. Huh. Shelters being on umbrellas in this case. A bunch of chairs and a Serena Blackwood. Curious. Uh, we have the stairs. I would need some help for that. The cloistered garden. I mean, I do have a lot of plants there. I can make out a green and shaded space, but it's cloaked with weeds and thorns. I'll need help to clear the space. Need help regardless, it appears. Let's see here. Well, for my own sake. Uh, miners. Who do I need for this? It just says any assistance. Ah, lantern and nectar. Versus forge and lantern. So, lantern regardless. How much for a crown? Nothing. Uh, yeah, let's get our assistance first. Then we can work on recovering ourselves. Night has fallen, indeed. Oh, sorry, what is this? Oh, just that, yes. Hmm. To the threshold of the house. You can only keep five things in your belongings. The sixth item will be abandoned unless it already is a home. Abandoned items will wait for you outside the house. Oh. Okay. Curious, curious, curious. Yeth hounds? In times past, the Yeth pursued the impious and impure across the moors of this country. Hendrik de Wolf never liked them. Well, that kind of says it all, doesn't it? But you, you good sir, you need to be stronger. You need to be more before I can use you. Ah. I've wasted my money on you. Bother. Well, that's the disadvantage of night, it appears. Oh well, uh, let's see. I find myself a little fatigued, so if you don't mind terribly. I assume you're going to break this down, because otherwise I'm going to lose all my money. I'm going to be very upset. But while that's going... Hmm, what's this? Dandelion wine. Homemade flower wine. Which contains nectar, interestingly. Now, can I only use this with assistance? Use your elements of the soul to enhance their abilities and reach more challenging rooms. Okay. So I do, in fact, need these assistants and then I use these elements to enhance them so that they can actually be useful I see and understand to a degree hmm but then how can I enhance them such that they get nectar and the like and am I restricted to miners Better indeed. What's a florin? A shilling per side. What does that mean? Two shillings, I guess? Ugh. Disgusting. And now a further question. Do these just recover every day and I've been wasting resources? Oh. I love the little background details in this. Parting assistant, someone's time is up, and so now someone's time is up, and now they're going home. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so then I would wish to talk with a miner. Uh, what does Wist do to you? Evidently nothing. I'm sorry, one more time. Boost winter and lantern. 
Winter and Lantern. Now, is this an either or, or do I need both? At least one of these. Okay, so. Speak with this one. To render him one lantern. This requires two lanterns, and thus that is pointless. But what if I used health? That adds one nectar, which again, pointless. Okay. So, I need to add forge, which means we go like so. Uh, sorry, not whist, shout. And then I have no use for the other one. So, let me actually consider... This is how I catalog things. So, let me consider these books. Hmm. Consider Traveling at Night. The annotated dream journals of Christopher Illolopy. Illopoly, rather. Sometimes called the only readable occultist. Literate, entain entertaining, and bewildering. And we remember his name. Uh. Greater challenges require stronger skills, and alas, I do not have the money for that, or the skills for that, I should say. What of you? An uncatalogued book. Hmm. Catalog a baronial period book. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House... Hush House's baronial period, roughly 1500s to 1700s. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. Books from this period are only rarely contaminated. A pardon? Contaminated, you say? Contaminated with what? May I ask? I don't recall there being any sort of contamination involving books in Cultist Simulator, although, admittedly, my memories have never been the best. Curious, curious, curious. Oh, good God, there's a lot to <laughs> the Hush House. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tidal Flats. Uh, let's see. Moon and Winter is required. And there can be no reluctance. Curious. Does this tell me what principles it will give them, by any chance? Hmm. Seek unusual help. Yeah, what unusual help is available to me? Also, what happened to my other... Oh. That's what... Right, I am using them. That's the issue. Sunrise Awakening. An uncharacteristically poignant meditation by the edge long... Twarog of Marionid. Marionid? Yes. Who later came to Hush House under a variety of other names. Often in search of some sort of flight. Sort of fight. Ah. A pardon. Yes, you shall live there. Hmm. Alas, that I do not have something else. But we have our slightly more useful assistant there. If you could help us with the stairs, dear fellow. Yes. And we shall see what we find. I remain not entirely sure of what I need to be doing with these books. But I am curious. Oh, well, I suppose it is fine to have these on hand. What is this, though? Tally price. A price, as the invisible world would reckon it, paid in uncommon currency like the tokens called Spintriae. A mystery lantern. Greater challenges require stronger skills. Hmm... I'm sorry, what? I do wonder about all these items, though. Like, what use they are meant to have. Because they all have different traits. And it makes one wonder. Thurza Blake, 7th Librarian of Hush House, liked painting donkeys. No one else liked her donkey paintings, but Thurza never much cared what other people liked. Oh? Walter DeWolf. Oh my! The bus is carved from Serpentinite. Serpentinite. A striking local stone. 
a mirror scope, bewildering and occasionally useful. A tool. Let me add that to my inventory for now. Ah, oh, and we have more books. Hmm. My tool. One reason the apes beat the beetles. A curious thing. I don't know how these tools are used, though, is the problem. Perhaps it might be best to just leave them where they are. For now. And ink. So is this a writing desk? Ah, perfect. A magnificent desk Ava? A magnificent 18th century secretary desk commissioned for Lady Ava de Wolf. Last of the Brankrug de Wolfs. Read a letter. Add ink. Add a soul card to determine the tone of letter. Not all desks allow all soul cards. Okay. A curious thing. It also requires skill and memory. Well, we will get back to that. Now, is there... I'm sorry. Passing by a poet. What are you good for? Uh, it's almost late, so perhaps not. Hmm. Although a poet has winter, moth, and moon, if I'm remembering correctly. Not moon, sky, apologies. So if I could enhance his winter, which I believe my wist will do? Yes, perhaps. Okay, so Poet with Wist helps me unlock the tidal flats. Whatever those are. But we must wait for tomorrow. And we must also wait for next episode. For now, thank you all for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I shall see you all soon. I'm not quite entirely sure what all is going to happen here. Oh, Sky, you say. And how do these books work? Because we do seem to have an awful lot of them, I'm seeing. Curiosities upon curiosities, but all matters for the future. Goodbye for now.